Hey guys, Curtis Brayfit here for Daffersnooker.com. Just waiting on the newly crowned Scottish Open champion, Mark Allen. He's left me with the trophy, so I better keep a double close eye on this. But um, yeah, what a tournament, man. Played some great snooker all the way through. Um, great finish as well. Obviously making that century and making that break at the end. He's just down there with his wife. So he's left me on a, on a trophy guard. Looks fantastic, the trophy. He's quite heavy as well. But uh, yeah, tremendous how well he played this week. Um, considering he's been on the bevy most of the week. So it'll be interesting to catch up with him in a minute and uh, see how he's feeling. But at the minute, he's just having a natter to his, uh, to his missus. He's, uh, he's coming over to me now. Come on, champ. So yeah, he's, uh, he's already started a live video. He's, go on, my son. <laughs> yeah, Cheers, Mark, just, just told him I'm on trophy guard at the minute, looking after the trophy <laughs> for you, Papa. Look, fantastic, mate. Different class this week. Um, came through that tough one with Daniel when you was feeling a little bit worse yeah, or where. Yeah, yeah. And uh, today, mate, fantastic the way you finished the match off, mate. Top draw. Yeah, and to be honest, as the match went on, I felt more and more calm. Uh, felt really edgy starting that second session, five frame front. Uh, even though I won the first frame, I felt really nervous. So, and then I didn't get a shot for three and a half frames. <laughs> Sean went on one like he does, and puts ridiculous long ball after ridiculous long ball. I completely froze me out. And uh, seven six down, no missing a real good chance to go seven six up. I actually felt okay. I felt really relaxed. You know, I played with my daughter at the interval and just yeah. run about here for fifteen minutes. And <laughs> she was causing havoc in the players' yeah, lives, but she was, she <laughs> different was. class so, way. I actually felt really calm then going back out. Just. I think she took a lot of pressure off just knowing that she was there and I played with her for 15 minutes and yeah. you know, seeing how happy she was. So, you know, it's only a snooker match at the end of the day, but a snooker match I've, I really wanted to win. And at 7 6 down, I seemed to find something, I found another gear and you know, made a few good breaks. And obviously, with the aid of a nice flip in the last, you know, finished really well with I think it was a 70, 100, and a 80 or something like that. Yeah. So, you know, that's, that's the way that I should be closing out these tournaments. I just want to touch on what a fantastic year though man I mean come on man on the table been unbelievable Masters yeah. champion man you've done so much this year was it ending the year well starting the year well man it's been fantastic for you man yeah my brother's been on to me to you know, book end the year with wins you know, uh, he's been trying to get me to come off the drink and stuff but, <laughs> uh, like, brothers, like brothers do but like, it's, a, it's been a great year the, the, the Masters obviously set the tone you know, getting that monkey off my back and winning a triple crown event and it just makes it easier to win knowing that you can win those big ones knowing yeah. that you've done it before it makes it slightly easier to win it's not easy don't get me wrong but it makes it easier you know you feel much more relaxed and getting over that winning line and you know winning the international championship win yeah. super all week and you know this was a different type of win because it wasn't at my best here this week but it shows yeah. I can win when I'm not at my best which Ab is a great sign absolutely pan I mean you've dug in so deep so many times this season and to like, even going back to the UK I know you, I know you lost in the final but I mean the way you dug in against Robertson yeah. the way you dug in against Wells they're dug in again tonight you're showing so much character in these tournaments as well yeah to be honest it's something I've never really lacked is a bit of character a bit of bottle but I like to not have to rely on it all the time I like to win a few <laughs> more easier matches but I know if it goes close I fancy my chances I fancy my chances of getting over the line against anyone if it goes close but you have to put yourself in that position you need to, you need your game to be at a certain level to get into that position and lucky enough no, this week I wasn't quite at my best but it was good enough top draw look Mark you know I'm not like most interviewers I ain't going to keep you for ages <laughs> right, yeah. you, you got all your, all your fans out there mate absolutely pals look let's get out of here let's get a few drinks down our net mate and look mate excellent this week and have a great Christmas for the family too, top man Cheers,